At the start of this episode, I've dropped the guys at home. They've gone off and done their own thing. Fast two. Is a full house. Graham's been back to Sheffield and he's seen his old bus driving pals and he's playing cards and all of a sudden he has this sort of... I'm not sure whether it's an, an internal vision or, or something, but something sh shudders. And it's the start of a start of a journey and a story for the for the gang. Then we get back to TARDIS to find out we've all had these weird encounters and we're swapping sort of like experiences. Mm -hmm. They've been experiencing, or or someone close to them has been experiencing similar visions, which involve a bald, tattooed man. With Graham, it's his own personal vision, which is two planets colliding. The most amount of information we can acquire in that moment is potentially from Graham. Help me. Graham's vision seems to have a sense of location to it, so she hooks Graham up to the TARDIS telepathic circuit, which means they can kind of hook into somebody's brain or telepathic signals to sort of direct the TARDIS to a place. Ow, I don't like it. You sure it's safe? You trust me, don't you? Have I got to answer that? Oi! But there was a slight issue with something that was... One of the cords was very heavy, and so we'd be doing the scene, and we could see the, it was slowly detaching. I kept going to Jody through the scene, uh, so, so cut, so is, is it falling off? Yeah, it's just coming off, just coming off. And she'd press it, and she'd press it, but instead of just going like that, she'd go, like, oh, what are you doing? Before takes, very aggressively, would she stick the thing on Brad's head. And all of a sudden she'd go, it's coming off again, it's coming off again. And what's going on? You know, and, but she can get away with it. She's the doctor, so that's it. It's a good job I'm not a doctor in real life because I'd be terrible. <laughs> Ready? No. Focus on the image. Oh. The doctor, in connecting Graham to the TARDIS telepathic circuit, she's trying to access those memories or, or the vision that he had when he was at home. She's trying to bring that to the surface again and get the TARDIS to lock onto those visions and then use that knowledge to kind of scan the universe to get them to that place. When we open the door to wherever we've arrived, it's, it's, a, it's a brand new place to all of us and it also doesn't look immediately like the things that have been in Graham's head. Is this what you saw? No, nothing like this. Then why here? What did the telepathic circuits lock onto? When we enter this new space, it is it's a shock to everybody because it isn't we can't quite work out why how we've got there from what's inside Graham's brain. Hello, Doctor. I've watched you stumbling round this universe. I'm playing a character called Zelin who is an immortal god. Eternity is long, and we are cursed to see it all. Zelin is uh, an ominous figure in the shadows. For us as well is the bogeyman. He's the man under the bed, he's the man in the wardrobe. He represents our nightmares. So Zelin has the power to disconnect fingers and they then get inserted into the ear of, of said victim. And what he manages to do with these fingers is it extracts human beings' worst nightmares, all the things that at night that you kind of go, oh my God, all the worries and all, all of that. And essentially, the Zelen's power is the ability to create your worst nightmare and make it real. Your worst fears? My creativity. You know, you tell kids that there isn't a bogeyman and there's nobody under the bed, and he's there to show you that there is sometimes there's somebody watching you. So, yeah, he's our deepest, darkest fears. He's the darkness before the dawn.
don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.